What is going on? Well, try to keep the talking to a minimum in this video because I don't know if you see I'm a little swollen. Two days ago got the wisdom teeth yanked and it's a bit sore today. But yeah, we're going to do a little shed hunting today. Got a couple spots I'm going to go walk. Probably try to do about a couple miles of walking and see if I can find some sheds. So it's end of March. Usually you should do this about mid-March. Hopefully any of my find aren't too chewed up from the critters. But yeah, we'll see what we can find. Hopefully we can find one or two. That'd be nice. Well, you can tell Spring's here. Try not to spook them because they'll go all dive under. But if you can hear that, I'm going down by the little duck pond here. The frogs are just freaking out because it's like 60 degrees out today. They're out in full swing. There's like 40 of them on the pond. I'll try to get close enough so you guys can see. Just all over the pond. <laughs> Everywhere. Show springs. Spring is here. Spring is here. Whew, that draw pain is really kicking in now, but uh yeah, I'm just walking along like some trails and stuff, looking pretty much for you know trees that I know they normally scrape on, like to get their velvet off. Figure them same trees they're gonna scrape you know all year and they might bust their horns off so I'm gonna walk along a bunch of these trails and then checking out the bedding areas because a lot of times they'll fall off when they're sleeping in their bedding areas but a lot of guys have luck out in fields like when they're feeding because it's easy to spot them in a field you know they've grass field and they see a horn sticking up it's a little harder to see them in the woods but I believe that the majority of them are in the woods and deer trails are the best way to find them just you know the more solid of a deer trail the more deer go through it so the better your chances are. Well, we got some scraping going on here. I don't know if this is the deers or the old turkeys. But here's some more over there. This is this little gas line there. Working it pretty good I guess. One other great thing about you know spring coming around. I'll show you here the wonderfulness of spring. Tick number one. Tick number two. And there was another one on me somewhere. Don't know where he went, but yeah, make sure you uh, take a shower when you're done shed hunting and you have ticks all over you because you don't want to get ticks biting in you. For some reason I am a big attraction of ticks. Some people they love them, some people they don't. I guess I'm one of the people that lo they love, so yeah. Okay, well I finally found something. It's not a shed. We're in the middle of the woods. I don't know what it is actually. So here I'll show you up top first. There's a string way up in a tree. I don't know if that's like a balloon or something. Just kicked the deer up below me. <laughs> oh no. They're actually coming at me. Squirrels. They don't even see me. This side's that gray squirrel. Well, they didn't even see me, but anywho. Yeah, there's like this box at the bottom. And goes up to like a chunk of plastic. I don't, I don't know what the heck this is. We're gonna investigate this here box. Okay, so here's the bottom of it. It says something about flight right there. Flight, so this is definitely some sort of flying gizmo. You can see like the light on it. I don't know if it's one of them, uh, you know how they do like them float thingies for, you know, someone passes away at funerals and stuff. I don't know if it's that, maybe, I'm not sure, but Hey, it's a find at least. It says remove bag for mailing instructions. Don't know what the heck that means. 
I don't think there's anything in here. I'm gonna open it up, maybe it's just batteries. I don't know. Find out. So I tried to pull it out of the tree and the string broke and just left the plastic thingy up there. See, I see like a tube on it. Like it is. Yeah, it's definitely one of them float thingies that people send up. And sometimes people put like messages in them, so I'm gonna take this apart and I don't have a knife on me, see what's, yeah. See if there's anything cool in it. Okay guys, this is I think a lot cooler than a shed. Uh, wow. It's saying, I guess this is a return thing if you find it, to National Reconditioning Center in Grandview, Missouri. That's amazing. So I guess they want you to, if you find this, I guess it's for the, I don't know, what are the National Weather Service? That's, that's awesome. So I'm going to take this bag and, yeah, keep you guys updated. That, that's really cool. Never found anything like that before. Well, I'm uh, heading back to my house. Got about a mile walk. No luck on antler sheds, but I found this balloon. And yeah, I got the uh, balloon out of the tree. I don't want to leave it there. It's, I don't think the National Weather Service is what me, want me to keep their litter there. So pretty cool though. Real cool. So we're heading back to investigate this more. Well guys, I just got back. Uh, looking at the package and stuff more. I guess it came from Missouri somewhere and I'm in Pennsylvania near Pittsburgh. So yeah, pretty cool. I'm gonna put it back in their package and I don't think they want the shredded balloon but I, this thing probably has like data in it. So yeah, put all the stuff together. Pretty cool, pretty cool. But anywho, I appreciate a like and subscribe if you like uh, hunting, fishing, and outdoor videos. We'll see you on the next one, guys. If I uh, get any feedback from this, I'll make a video about it. It's pretty cool, though.